I wanted to make this video and just address a couple things that have been crossing my mind here lately. I couldn't help to shake it off to be completely honest with you and that's what led me to making this video in the first place. But nonetheless I think what I'm about to say and address very much goes hand in hand with some of the major issues within an industry in general. You may witness this with some major titles but occasionally it may happen to some lower budget studios as well. This has been raised more than once within Icarus community. But basically to sum it up for you when Icarus was announced a while back the game looked exciting it came off very sci-fi based you're an astronaut arriving on this strange planet and over time you complete a set of missions and earn currency within the game and use that currency to buy things so on and so forth sounds cool right well when the game officially came out to the public it was just not what was promised Vehicles were missing, okay? There was nothing sci-fi in the first place. And actually, the game felt very strange considering that you're an astronaut wearing a spacesuit and yet somehow the planet that you're on is nothing alien-like. In fact, it felt like Earth, if anything. You see all the wildlife present, ranging from deer to bears, wolves, you name it. Everything felt normal. Many updates and patches later, Icarus remained on Steam at mixed rating and never budged even one bit. But everyone was wondering why. You know, me as somebody who was scrolling through Steam, that's something that always spiked my interest. I looked at Icarus, it seemed very exciting, but I kept on asking myself why the hell the game has been out for this long and why the hell is it still in the mixed rating? I mean, the game seemed original, very appealing to someone just scrolling through. Then shortly after its development team released an update that was very meaningful to its community. It is an open world update that really did a number to Icarus, on the positive side. It made the game go from mission based style gameplay to an open world experience which introduced freedom to the player, which is what the game was supposed to be in the first place. Basically ever since the open world update, everything you did in the game was no longer going to be a Raced, which was a huge plus for the Icarus community considering that prior to that there was no point in building or decorating your base because none of it was going to be there for a very long time anyways. Why put in effort if it's going to be taken away from you in the first place? Then very very recently, which is also the reason I'm making this video, they released a DLC that looks absolutely phenomenal. It finally makes the game feel like it belongs to another universe quite literally. You see big trees and massive creatures. You get to see some toxic areas, like swamps and stuff, in the game, which indicates nothing Earth-like, which is perfect. That's what the game was supposed to be, right? In the first place? Its new DLC looks great, but hang on a minute. You gotta pay extra money just to have that? Really? So we just paid you $30 just to have a game that was nothing that you were promising us in the first place through your trailers. Once again, no vehicles, no alien life. But now you're releasing a game that finally fulfills just some of it, not everything, but a lot better than, you know, initial stage of the game. Except you have to pay additional money just to have it. What kind of support and care is this? This right here made me extremely upset and uncomfortable on the Icarus side, to be quite honest with you. You know, there is people out there that can't afford to keep pouring money into this development project, if you will, and yet you're still basically releasing half-assed project, excuse my language, and then look into your community and say, oh, sorry, I just needed more money from you, but you'd help me out, right? I'm sorry, but I just hate that. It just makes me feel uncomfortable just even bringing this up, and I'm not even a part of this community, really. It's called being greedy and taking advantage of your supporters in the way, honestly. Why can't we have this for free? I get that studios need to make money in order to keep projects going, and that's what cosmetics are here for. Things that don't influence the gameplay at all. But when you're making things that directly influence the game, things that were promised from the very beginning, it just becomes very greedy and pyramid scheme-like. And that's something I can't support and stand true to. I'm sorry. Everything within the DLC looks great. Of course, that's me saying all this by just looking at it and not necessarily experiencing it as far as playing it. But that's a step closer to promised version of Icarus. But the problem is you have to pay extra money in order to have it or even experience it for yourself. But what's next then? You're gonna drain money from this project, from this DLC, and then what's gonna be next? The vehicles that were promised before, will they come in the form of DLC as well? It's just pathetic, I'm sorry. That's a shady business. There's just no other way of putting it. There's no excuse for any of this. And that's why I refuse to even try to invest 
waste my time into any of it. This is not even a AAA title. Why the hell are you charging people nearly over $60 for a game that is nearly still in very early, early access and doesn't have all the features at the moment? Sorry guys for just bunch of irritation in this video. I really try to be optimistic, but things like this bother me very, very much. And I personally refuse to support any of this. Feel free to let me know your input about any of this. If there is something I'm not seeing here or quite literally understanding, feel free to just tell me. But I mean, this is really, really bad. Why am I feeling disgusted on behalf of development team of Icarus? It is just so greedy. I'm done complaining. I just wanted to hop in and just express myself. I mean, am I the only one that feels this? Like seriously, how bad is this? This was your boy Bruce and I'm out. Goodbye.